but it's rainbow time again. Back at the lake for a couple of weeks. November now in swims one and two and uh, it's quite mild. We left the wind and rain behind to come down here in a bit of sunshine and uh, hopefully catch a few rainbow carp. It comes up from 20 foot up to 15 foot and then it goes along so far and you see it comes up to 11 or 12 foot there and I've got a marker, pole marker there, actually on the end of a bar, this is the end of a bar. So I'm dropping it in about 13 and a half, 14, around about there and all I'm doing is, is feeling about for a a nice firm bit of bottom so it just goes somewhere around here nice big hook bait there size two fang twister and a uh, big hook bait right down on the bottom and literally I'm just feeling about don't feel too bad there actually all I'm doing is a few of the 4G squids. Not much more than about sort of 30, 40 baits really. Just a scattering and a, a few sort of around the area. And then just a little bit of hemp, a few little scoops of hemp. That's it, that's all they're getting this time. Right, well, first morning on the lake and uh, off to a decent start. Anyway, got the first one and it was actually on the, the rod that I felt least confident with. It was out there right at the back of the swim, just in about seven foot of water between two little bars. and. Uh, like I say, I didn't feel that confident about it, but it's the one that went. And there's been loads of fish showing out there all night, crashing about all over the place, mainly sort of closer in and to the right. But um, it was the one, like I say, the furthest rod at the back that went. And 46 pounds, so it's a nice way to start. And I think we're, we're going to get a few more fish in this swim because there is loads out there. So, uh, you know, I'm going to get a fair bit of bait out, some 4G squid and uh, a bit more hemp as well around the spots and well let's hope for a few more but it's certainly a good start anyway so this is the plan of attack at the moment my left hand rod is that one there next to the orange pole and the plan with that one is to leave it out there until it either goes or until I feel that I need to rebate it. It's been out there since the start. I've seen fish showing around it, but as, as yet it hasn't gone. It's Wednesday at the moment. So I'll leave it out there at least till Saturday. I'm sure the baits are all right. But um, as, as I say, nothing's happened on it yet. So give it a bit of time and, and see what happens. Move across, where are we? There's 
the next one there and I moved that one yesterday I had it further out nothing was happening so I've moved it closer in on a, a hump I found a hump there that's about 15 foot and the other thing I've changed is I've not put so much bait around it I've normally come here and put big beds of bait out and just sat on it and waited but the two rods that have gone off so far have been over little beds of bait about 20 or 20 or 30 boilies so I'm going to stick with that on those couple of rods I'm sticking with the left hand one on a big bed of bait and that one I've moved and I've put it over less bait now the next one you can't actually see where it is but it, you to the left of that old bird hide there you can see a bamboo pole and I'm just past that and uh, I've not got a bottle on that one which is why you can't see it but that was the one that went this morning and again it was one that I'd moved and only had 20 or 30 boilies around it so although fish are showing a lot I don't actually think they're feeding that heavily at the moment so I've sort of toned the baiting down a bit in the hope of uh, getting a bite quicker but we shall see how that works and the other one if you can see where are we just trying to find the the tree there it is yeah and the other rod is fourth one is is by that tree that's that's a new tree that's fallen in this year um but every night loads of fish being shown around that spot so hasn't produced yet but i'm hope hoping it will do and i'm leaving a rod there with a, a fair bit of bait around it anyway so basically i've got two rods over fairly big beds of bait and two over little sprinklings of bait and it's still early days so we're, we'll see which one uh, comes out on top at the moment it's the sprinkling of bait that's got me the bites there we go not a big one but uh have to brighten up a, a wet damp miserable morning on rainbow <laughs> it's horrible out there but um, at least the fish are feeding just moving this rod it's been that tree just behind me there it's been there for three days now and nothing's happened but there has been fish around here showing all the time and in particular I've seen a few fish show right in the bottom of this bay and for some reason at the moment they seem to want it in shallower water it's been in about 12 13 foot and the couple of bites I've had it's been quite slow it's fair to say but the bites that I've had have been in sort of between five and sort of nine foot I suppose so uh, I'm just gonna try it here yeah in about seven foot something like that I'm just gonna drop it down it's not too bad here there's a few twigs and bits and pieces as you can see but the idea is I'm gonna drop it down in here and uh, see if that does the job. Like I say, I've seen a couple of fish show right up in here, so I know they're getting up in this corner. And I'm not going to put loads of bait here, I'm just going to drop it down where it feels good. That feels really good there, it's rock hard on the bottom there. So I think that's going to do me. Just short of eight foot, I'm not going to put loads of bait out because I think this is the sort of spot where I'm looking for one bite rather than uh, getting loads of fish so 
20 or 30 baits, a couple of spoons of hemp, and I think that's going to do. One for luck. Maybe two for luck, I can't help it. <laughs> do like a bit of hemp. There we go, that's it. Job done, we'll see if that does any good. Oh, well, it just shows what a difference a few yards makes because this rod has been out on the same spot by the fallen tree for three and a half days. Fish has shown all around it, but nothing had happened. And uh, I moved, moved it just about 30 or 40 yards further into the bay, into a shallower spot, and it was only there for an hour, two hours, and off it's gone with this beauty on the end, 54 pounds. So it was well worth trying uh, something different. And I suppose, you know, that's often the case. We often sit there, I'm guilty of it myself, sit there behind static rods for days on end. And uh, sometimes all you need to do is try something different. Sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes you have to try something different. This time, doing something different worked out. So, uh, a cracking 54 pound mirror. Mm -hmm. There we go, lovely. baby one, a nice scaly one though, here do. Well it's not a big one but um, pleased to see it for sure. The weather's taken a real turn for the, the worse, it was lovely last week but now it's it's dropped right down, we've even had snow today actually, snow falling and uh, there's going to be a high of five and it's going to be down to minus two or three tonight so it's not very pleasant but when you can catch a fish like this, it's not too bad. It's certainly brightened up the day. Lovely little scaly mirror. And not a big one for here, obviously, but one for the future. Be a nice big fish one day. And on a cold, miserable November sort of day of rainbow, it's nice to see it anyway. Didn't come over much bait, just a little bit of the 4G squid and a big hook bait over the top. Been out there a couple of days in nine foot. But um, off it went, so happy days. A 
I'm not actually using much bait this time, which is a far cry from a year ago when I was putting four or five kilo out of time with each rod and getting loads of action. This time it's a bit more tricky. Just uh, some of the 4G squids, I've got that in 18 mil and, uh, well, 20 mil, they dry to about 18, and the smaller 15s. And uh, I'm only putting about 30 or 40 of those around each hook bait, along with some of the usual hemp. And uh, about four or five scoops, not a great deal. Little bit, little bits of bait, sort of fishing for one bite at a time, really. But it's been doing the job. It's quite a tough one, this one. But um, we're catching, that's the main thing. And these ones you might have noticed me using some of these on the rig. And all they are is extra hard baits that I've made myself. Last time I was here, I used a uh, red sort of scopex squid and these are similar, they've got scopex squid in with a bit of fruity stuff. I've got some tangleberry in there and a bit of old school sweetener and it just keeps the bream at bay really. There's more bream in there than what it used to be and the big hard hook baits just stay out there for a few days and I'm safe in the knowledge that I've got a bait out there come what may. So that's all they are, it's just some homemade hook baits and they're fished over like I say about 40 4G squids and a few scoops of hemp. Well, it's a different shaped fish for a rainbow, this one, just over 40 pound. I tried something a little bit different. It started off getting the fish in shallow water, but it, although I've tried several spots up on tops of the humps and bars, it seems like they want it in the deeper water. And one particular hump I fished around last sort of 10 days or so I had nothing off it so I moved a rod either side of it and off off of the top down in the deeper water in 17 foot and uh, well it's only been there a few hours really about seven or eight hours and off it's gone with this one like I say 40 pounds so uh, just shows how you got to work out you know not just where the fish are but where they want to feed what depths and uh, always put a lot of emphasis on depths and this one was in the deep water 17 foot so a bit late on in the trip now but found a little clue anyway still time for one or two more though anyway Go. bit of afternoon action. God. Just saying how good it looked for one out there. Sure enough it's gone off. Feels good. It's a nice, solid, sort of heavy weight on there. It's not plodding or, or jig jagging around like the smaller ones do. So that rod tip, nice, healthy bend in that. God, that's what I love to see. It's the last chance, really, for a, a big one. So. Let's just hope. Oh, knee trembling time.
Whee. Wow. God, it's got some power. <laughs> wow. And just a heavy weight down there. My heart is nearly bursting out my chest here. Well, as usual, sod's law. Halfway through the battle and the, the camera on the GoPro run out, so missed the last half. And it was actually feeling like an absolute monster. But what happened, the fish had kited through an old marker. So it was dragging along an old marker and a lead behind it, which sort of added to what felt like a very heavy fish. It's still good, one. absolutely cracking common. 52 and a, a quarter pound. And uh, Really, it's the first one that hasn't been absolutely full up. It's a long, sort of uh, lean fighting machine, if you like. And it looks like it could be a lot bigger at some stage, but um, you know, it's certainly a nice fish. And phew, it got the old knees trembling out there. So, uh, oh, what can you say? It's been a, a good session, really. It's been a tough one, but had some good ones. So, uh, can't ask for more than that, really. <sighs> good stuff. Afternoon action. Well, the second week was certainly a lot different than the first one. Um, I remember setting up here on the first day in a t-shirt and sweat was dripping off me. But this second week, it's been a lot colder. It's early on a cold, frosty morning now. But the fish are still kept feeding right up until the end. And uh, just now, early, early morning, at this cracker, which is uh, still got plenty of energy, like they always have got. <laughs> I'm going to try and lift it up for you. Lovely fish, and uh, it came from quite close in this one. I've been putting most of the rods sort of further out on high spots and humps and bars, but fish kept fizzing closer in and uh, in the deeper water as well, all around the swim. So I thought I would try one closer in where they've been fizzing and like I say in the deep water on the soft stuff it's, it's been there a couple of days but um, you know eventually it's gone off and if he's gonna let me hold him up <laughs> there we go 54 pound mirror lovely fish cracking weight at the end of the trip it's been quite a tough one we haven't had loads and like I say it's certainly turned into winter the last couple of days but uh, you know, what a lovely way to finish, eh? Poor, that's winter fishing for you, you never know. I've had small ones, scaly ones, and a few big ones like this. But uh, happy days at Rainbow, it's been lovely.